Okay, this is just a quick video on the lower setup. Uh, the parts and pieces are an 8-channel Laura gateway. Now I just use this guy. It's a complete kit. It's got the Raspberry Pi and what's called a concentrator. And that brings in 8 channels from all the different Lauras and then can dump that on the internet. Also has a GPS receiver for position, feedback, that sort of thing. They're 200 bucks from Adafruit in the States. Other thing you just need is this little Laura board. And what it is is just basically an Arduino, a 32U4 based Arduino, and on it is a little LoRa transmitter running at 915 megahertz. And that's the thing that talks to the receiver here in this antenna. And you can, even with a reasonable antenna, you can go 20 kilometers with these, even just these little guys, with just a little wire stick sticking out of it, three inch long, you can get three, four kilometers in line of sight. So a single gateway with an antenna on top of your house, you can do pretty much any farm, you know, within reason, that sort of thing. And you can see the price of these is, is quite reasonable. Put this in a little box, this little connector here attaches to a rechargeable battery. You can either have a solar cell type charger plugged into the USB port. And so it's just be standalone out in the field or in a bin or beside a bunch of bins or, or whatever you want to do. Uh, you can monitor literally anything. And uh, Adafruit also has setups on how really detailed, good setups on how to get logged onto the network and set up the LoRaWAN and examples. And it, I'm not going to say it's not easy, but if you just follow the instructions along and add in the, add in the required stuff, you just click. And again, the instructions are beyond excellent. So... Uh, here we are at the Things Network, and the Things Network is a uh, what's called a LoRa server where all your data comes in, gets compiled, gets stored, that sort of thing. It's all free, and you can build your own server. You can do whatever. Uh, here is my gateway attached in little old Manville. There's Manville there, and. So there isn't a lot of gateways around. I think there's like four in Edmonton. And there's one way out here. And But that's about it in Alberta. So you can set up your gateway. I'll do another video on setting up the gateway. But this is my gateway. And it tells you last from when it last heard. And you just set it up, the information, that sort of thing, where you are, where you exist. And that's about it. And next thing you do once that's talking is you create an application and then you create a device, which is that LoRa. And you just put in this stuff and then you copy and paste these um, IDs back into your code. And that's about it. And then you can go back to here and take a look at the data coming in and here 1036 every 15 seconds all it does is this one is just counting up and it sends the payload to the things network and you can chart and graph and download and, and do it or just sent one you can do whatever you want with this data and the whole thing is it logs it and you can read that data anywhere if you want to do bin temperatures you have access to your bin temperature anywhere in the world. So here's the LoRa code, which again is, is very simple. There's these network session keys and, and all the different keys and stuff. You just copy and paste them in there. Uh, the code is super simple. You have the basic loop and setup for an Arduino and it just sends the data off to the LoRa. And all you gotta do is manipulate, read a temperature sensor and put it in a package and send it off to the Things Network. And it goes there. And you set your interval, how often you want the thing to transmit. And that's it. And there you can see it's just, this is the uh, serial monitor coming off the Arduino. And every 15 seconds, it spits out a new frame. So nothing, like I say, nothing really too complicated. It, uh, it all works. 
it was a little tricky setting up initially the the gateway because of just some poor information on what IP addresses were and stuff like that. I'll make a separate video on on maybe just the gateway. And uh, but yeah, it's a interesting little project. You can really see the potential for uh, for transmitting some of this data all around the farm. Anyway, thanks.